You know, I'm going to mention mention a, a few things before I play play another track. The uh, Agile Rabbit, which is based based in Exeter University, they've got a load of things going on. Uh, at the pop up curiosity shop, Science and Culture, based at Make Tank on Paris Street. That's on Friday and Saturday. I think it's all lunchtime. And um, I, I haven't spoken about this before, John, but I, you, might, you might be interested. There's a, a walk and talk. Right. Uh, Saturday, about 11.30, on the value of play. Uh, I don't know wh- what form this is going to take, but I know there's quite, there's quite a strong group looking at playfulness okay. as a means of learning. Okay. And so I think be, there might be some theory behind it all. But it might just be walking around. Right. So you, you've got to book a ticket, but it, it, there's, no ch- there's no charge for it. Um, or I think you can probably turn up. I don't know. Right. But we, we can talk later about whether, 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 whether we go to that. And there's some, other, there's some other bits from Agile Rabbit and so forth. That we could, we, well, I'll carry on talking now, because we've, we've played, we've played quite, a lot of, um, quite, quite a lot of of tracks. What I'd say about that, on Twitter, we're W-E-N-O-T-N-O, and I'm Will789GB, and I've, I've asked Agile Rabbit what they think about videoing um, the walk or the talk. They haven't haven't come back yet, um, but the, 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 it must be okay to spin off things. You would think from mm. such an event. So the the CD walk, I'm, I can either sort of talk to them about that, or I'll just learn how you do a learning walk. I'll get some ideas for it anyway. Do mm-hmm. it all again another time. Okay. That's how we might might do that that bit. Um, but look, there's a, there's a couple of other things that that are going on. Um, the main one, and this is booked out, so we can't actually go to it. But I think what would, it, would interest you there's a, there's a talk by uh, Professor David Nutt. Okay, yeah, that is interesting. That is interesting. I've got your interest now. I really want to go. <laughs> Come closer to yeah, but we can't, you can't go, John. Why? Well, because it's fully booked. Oh. It's at Dartington on the 20th of October. He's not the only speaker. Uh, it's called the Psychedelic Renaissance. And I've, I've tweeted a link, so if anybody listening now is interested, you'll, you'll, you, you can find it on as Agile Rabbit or else W-E-N-O-T-N-O on Twitter. Um, so there's several speakers there. It's not just from Exeter. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is research going on yep. into... Uh, medical uses of psychedelic uh, drugs right and you've you've come across professor Nutt previously yeah i think i think david Nutt comes out with some good views uh, he's good at talking about um the, the scientific the scientific evidence of um these new these new drugs on the horizon and um he's an interesting person to be learning from and uh listening to in my estimation so what we could what we could try and do is it maybe they could stream it if all the tickets are sold is it dartington 20th of october they must have cameras and web access would yes you think? or or we could just find out who these people are and maybe they've spoken somewhere else and it's all online somewhere a lot of these conferences although it's a great event and you should be there they say a lot of things that have been said before. They do, they do. I think I, th- I think that's the same for all speakers in conferences. Yeah. They do talks around um, the similar things all the time because, don't get me wrong, they're c- because there could be new people turning up at the conference that hasn't heard them before. So it's new information for those people who maybe haven't been to um, the conference before, maybe. Yeah, there's all of that. But look, we'll, we'll, we'll try and find out a bit more about that. And if Agile Rabbit would like to tweet us with links or suggestions, we'll find out about that and we'll find out about learning from play and walking about. And then the other one, John, I mentioned this in an email. 
We've been away for a couple of weeks. Well, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so we'd, we'd, we're way behind on the shows. Will's been on holiday. I've been on holiday. Yes. Taking a sabbatical. Sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. But working hard in a sort of relaxed sort of way. Yes. Turning over ideas in my mind. Indeed. So it's got to be done every so often. Yeah. Um, but I found, I found this course. This is another one that would, I think would interest you. Introduction to Medical Cannabis which is um, a MOOC. Right. So this one's from the University of the West Indies. In India? No, in West Indies. Well, Jamaica. Jamaica, like OK. I'm not exactly sure where they're based. Right. But, look, you know, various islands there. OK. And it's, it's on Future Learn, and it's two weeks, and it covers uh, the history, the biochemistry, and the law in various countries. Right, OK. So I thought we could both do it. Mm-hmm. I can, I can cope with the forms and everything. Right. And uh, we could let the listeners know what we, what we discover. What we discover. Um, because I'm, I'm going to rave on. I know we'll, we'll play, we will play some music in a minute if the, the audience are getting fed up in any way with, with our rambling on. But it more or less follows yep. at this point. Um, there is a question whether whether the MOOC r- relates in any way to to the main courses from a university, um, whether it works with promotion because it's not always coordinated with what they're offering. So so it's all very well having free courses, but um, I mean, for example, uh, weather forecasting or meteorology. There's lots of, there's lots of MOOCs the Met Office do, but whether they tie in with courses that Exeter University is offering. I'm not sure whether that works or not. Um, but maybe if if there's a psychedelic renaissance or there's studies on medical uses of various drugs, who where are the where are the where are the courses offered in the UK? Um, and would it relate to what this book from the University of the West Indies is offering? Mm. Which might not help anybody to work out whether they should be studying in the West Indies or anywhere else. Right. But that's that's another thing that maybe maybe people will talk about. 